Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, no genders, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's me, Wayne Carter, cabaret comedian, radio presenter, and all-round drag, Shambles. And this is another episode of New Phone Who Dis. I've lost all of my contacts in my phone. I can't believe it. I'm a trash fire human. Thankfully, I've got Raheem here to help me add contacts back into my phone. <laughs> Raheem, are you able to help me with this, please? I sure can. I know a lot of people. Oh, she's popular. She's booked and blessed. Okay, let's yeah. do this. Oh, no. Okay, Raheem. New phone. Who this? <gasps> That's Problem. So this is Probleen Oberoi, is her government name. <laughs> um, on Instagram, she's known as Prabs OV. Um, yeah. She and I were dance buddies years and years and years and years ago when we were both teenagers and preteens. And she is possibly one of the most incredible performers I have ever seen in my whole entire life and will ever see. Like, she gives you choreography, kicks, splits, everything. And she's doing it for the South Asians. Like, she's really coming out here like a big Punjabi girl and just been like... Like, <laughs> this is who I am, this is what I'm about. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I live. Yeah. And this and power... She... I love this power pose. She's absolutely incredible and she's stunning. Oh, she's so beautiful. Uh, but do you think that we're sisters? Just to let everyone out there know, so... Oh, your sisters yeah. are you? Because she's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she is yeah. beautiful and therefore because... Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're like related. But yeah, no, she is possibly one of the most amazing human beings that I've ever met in my life. Okay, no pressure. So I guess I'll, I'm, I'm a close second. I'm a close second. Th th human beings, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, new phone. Who dis? <gasps> oh, this is Isoa. On Instagram, known as ITUA92, ITUA92, because Tua, anyway, whatever. Um, Isoa is um, somebody that I met, funny enough, actually, Isoa was on one of my best friend's teams, dance teams, doing a Bollywood competition. And um, my friend was adamant for the two of us to end up together. Now, as much as I would be completely enthralled to have Isoa as my life partner, um, he and I are just not compatible. Too, too, too similar um, in the sense that we absolutely hate each other but love each other at the same time. Um, so um, she really is a scum of the earth, but <laughs> she is absolutely somebody that I, even if even if they hated me, I yeah. would demand to be in his life. Like, like a like a be. ride or die, like a ride or die. Oh no, listen, I so will mess you up, tell you what time it is and get you all the way together. Um, mm. All of the above. Um, and is also ridiculously intelligent and aware of social um, standings and social issues and social commentary. And I really, really admire that in them. Um, I can't, he's I can't. And everything and he's single so I oh wait G gps is he is he uh geographically close to my location of origin oh sorry location of residence london um he's in london he's in london yeah oh my god maybe i can date him maybe just let him know that you're available i mean but i'm so babe I mean, look I'm... He's beautiful so beautiful so Horrible. beautiful um, from you know it's Fijian. Oh, stop it right now. Oh, my ovaries. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. Now we have to go on to the next person. New phone. Who this? <gasps> this is. I know. Stop it right now. This is Emiko Jane Ishi. Also on Instagram, known as Emiko Jane Ishi. Um, <laughs> Emiko and I properly met each other on when we did a Bollywood musical, uh, a British Asian Bollywood musical called Bring on the Bollywood back in 2017. And she is a firecracker, like this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Enough, like she is um, an actress, a singer, an incredible dancer. She has her own um, dance line 
uh, dance line. It's not a clothing line. She has her own <laughs> dance company called um, Epica Dance. Actually, so does Probleen. Probleen has her, she's part of another one, the first person that we had. Um, she's part of Sapne Dance School, who are incredible as well. Um, but Emiko here is um, part of her own and she's the artistic director of her own. And she's just, are you ridiculous? Like she's actually ridiculous. I can't. Also, aside from, aside from talent and yeah. all around this love and pure joy for her she's an incredible businesswoman and that's the tea like we can all be great performers so like i'm a great performer you're a great performer but like the business hat you need to get that business hat it's like switched all the way on to like to make it in this industry and if they're doing that then maybe i need to slide into their dms and be like hey babe can you help me out <laughs> Yeah, very that. Like, Emiko is an incredible businesswoman, and I really, really respect her, respect everything she does, and oh. she's just, oh, really doing it. Um, she's Japanese, and she's attempted to teach me Japanese so many times, and I just suck at it. But she's honestly somebody that I really, really admire and highly respect, and um, is always ready to go for a McDonald's whenever you need her to. I mean, I, I live for a cheeseburger queen. I am fully that person. Double cheeseburgers for life. Very that. Um, okay, new Very phone. That. Who, who this? This is a collective of people. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is, who dem, who dem? Who dem, new phone, who dem? Um, this is the Rendezvous Review. Now, they were brought together by Evelyn Incarnate and Athena Beauvoir. Um, and Evelyn is also part of the Bitten Peach, um, and that's how we know each other. Um, but this, the reason why I bring these guys here um, is because I've had the pleasure of um, working with them um, just before lockdown, second lockdown happened. And they have really, really awakened me to like a whole different ball game, you know? Yeah. Um, you've got me, the drag queen, who's incredible um, and will be on um, Drag Race UK season three. I demand it, I manifest it, I force it. You have Ruby St. James um, and ridiculously attractive, these girls. I can, see, I can see Cleopatha is like. Cleopatha um, and Athena Beauvoir do the burlesque and oh, my God, I mm. cannot stop looking. I don't know if I want to be with them, be in them. I don't know. I'm confused, but I'm really into that. Um, and then you have, obviously, um, and Evelyn is currently Miss um, Burles UK reigning. And yeah. then you have Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony is everything. Shut up, Mark He Anthony is so is, good. They are, like, incredible. Yeah. And, and um, also reigning Mr. Boylesque, I believe. Um, yeah. And it's just so nice to also have that energy there, you know, in this cabaret. Mm -hmm. um, so the drag queen host alongside um, Ruby Wednesday. Ruby Wednesday is, is phenomenal. Who is an absolutely ethereal being. Um, <laughs> and honestly, Completely like, left of centre, completely ridiculous, but amazing. Yeah, but like also like really, like, you know, like really oh, attractive. Re really, se really sexually like... Really like sliding. Yeah, very that. Um, but like it's, I just honestly, they're all so attractive. They're all just so incredible. What I will say, out. what I will say about any collective or any group of people, I think there are. We've mentioned so many phenomenally amazing people, but there's always that one person in a collective in a group that maybe isn't as glamorous, isn't as beautiful, maybe is trying. Is that possibly? Mahatma? Potentially. Mahatma wants the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> so, oh. we also have Mahatma, who's there, obviously, Mahatma Kandi, and mm. also Miss Ninja Thorne is also a part of it. Yeah. Um, and um, they have performed, and it's incredible. Yeah. And um, it happens at the Midnight Lounge in London. Cam. Um, and I'm officially telling everybody that I'm also part of the collective. So there you go. Let's have it. Um, boom. I'm just going to say Don't. it. Don't care Put it into the world. Me. Put it into the world. Um, so, yes, that's really cool. Um, but honestly, I just think that people really, really need to support them in everything that they're doing because they're bringing cabaret 
into a, a different space, into a new light, and into a different way that no one ever thought was going to happen. And lots of different, different, it's like multidisciplinary, and it's uh, multidisciplinary, yeah, and got, lots um, of different, uh, yeah. Cabaret, burlesque, boylesque, um, lip syncing, comedy, hosting, live singing, like everything. You've got me, as in Raheem. Um, <laughs> and then and, me, the queen. And then actually me, the queen, yeah. But it's incredible. Like me and Ruby together are an incredible duo. And then you know, you've got obviously the other performers who are just, oh, shut up. People need to really see the show when it's back on in December. Okay. Fact. New phone. Who dis? <sighs> okay. 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 Now, I obviously okay. could not bring one or two people from this thing. Like... Like, who, do you, who is, like, how can you? The Bitten Peach Collective... <sighs> Hey, was oh. it who was it created by? It was was it Shay Shay Lily and was there a third Shay person? Lily, I can't I remember. Know. The admins of the group are <laughs> Shay, <laughs> Lily, Mahatma, Evelyn. Yeah, um, I think also Jason. But then it's a collective, yeah. no? So like everyone has a little bit of a. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, but it was brought together, I believe, initially by Shay Shay and Lily. Correct me if I'm wrong, and maybe Evelyn yeah. as well. Yeah. But um, I don't they, are so they are but so good. They are so good. They approached um, a friend of mine, Kajal Patel, who's also incredible. Mm. Um, and Kajal brought us all into really getting them seen, um, and sort of not them seen, sorry, us and um, and Kajal's performance. And from that. I have literally found a home with these hoes. Like they yeah. are everything from cabaret, drag kings, drag queens, um, non-binary performers, um, live singing, comedy, burlesque, everything, you know. And you've got I mean, obviously like Jason sings, you know, Shay I Shay can't. Sings. I can't with or, Jason. Shay Shay. No one can. Like Evelyn, obviously with the burlesque. You've got Ziggy, uh, Ziggy. You've got um, the twins. You've got so many people there. Obviously, Bolly is part of it. Me, Kajal. Um, obviously, just like name a few that are just coming into my mind. Dwayne, who is MX Tizo. Oh my God. Has to be one of the most incredible performers I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, and of course, my Lilith, Lily Snatch Dragon, is... Okay, if there is anyone in this world, I just, I, I have so much love, time, and... You know those people that just come into your life? I've known Lilith for a while now, but, like, those people that just come into your life and just radiate everything that you need in your life? Like, she is a beautiful human, both externally and internally. She's kind-hearted. They're spirit... Like, they're... they're oh! I don't, like... You know when you want to say something about someone but you're just like oh like you speechless yeah and like, the thing is like there's just and it's just so incredible to see like queer people of color like coming together like this and be yeah. such a force to be reckoned with like there are also people like christina pringle who recently did a photo shoot with all of us you know corin known as captured by corin like there are so many talents in this collective yeah um, with the burlesque dancers like Sam, who's no longer in the UK, but you know, there were like just loads of different individuals in this collective that you just kind of go, man. I mean, I can't. And I'm so like honored and proud to be a part of them, you know, and to say, yeah, no, I'm in this collective, sis. Like, if you know about them, then you know about me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've got Hatma, Miss Asia Thorne, like, you know, and, and we all bring such different styles of performance. Yeah. And I think that's makes us incredible that's 40 okay new phone who dis Ooh. ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children and no genders where am i looking i'm looking over here at the camera hi um that was new phone who dis and that was with let me just let me just oh that was with Raheem. You can follow Raheem at Raheem Mir, R-A-H-E-E-M-M-I-R. Raheem Mir on all social media, or at least Instagram. 
that's that's what we have uh don't forget to like favorite comment and subscribe because it helps the analyticals of the show because sometimes um queer people are disrespected on the algorithms that's the tea so i mean it's it genuinely I'm just, it's so homophobic. Um, like, favorite, rate, and subscribe. Go to drivingyouhomo.com if you need more information um, or new uh, episodes that are out every single week. And again, don't forget to follow our guest who is Raheem Payne Mir. Say goodbye, Raheem. Goodbye, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, great. <laughs> Who am I? What is this? What is That's this?